H. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much for staying. This is another beautiful day the Almighty God has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Do all not to forget your God throughout the journey of life. In this video, we are going to look at about five things we learned from the game yesterday. Ghana Black Stars played versus the Super Eagles of Nigeria, where Nigeria won 2 1 over Ghana Black Stars since 2006. This is the first time Nigeria has won over Ghana. They will talk, ah, Nigeria people. They will talk, and they, you are not our size. You are not our mates. You are not our this. Blah, 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 blah. But since 2006, this is the first time Nigeria has won over Ghana. First time. This one cry is friendly game. So we can exclude it. So in competitive games, two, since 2006, Nigeria, you've never won over Ghana. And you will never do that. <laughs> well, we are going to talk about the lessons Ghana Blasters must learn from that game. Okay. Um, the Black Stars coach, the technical team of the Blasters, the Ghana Football Association, the, the fans, okay, the football fans are um, supporting the Black Stars or Ghanaians all over the world supporting the Black Stars of Ghana. What should we learn from the game going forward? Um, and um, we will talk about everything in this video. We also look at our Black Princesses and our Black black um satellite winning gold yes in the african games it's fantastic we are going to look at that the african games has come to an end yes it has ended and we are going to look at the confirmed medal table um, of all the countries yes <laughs> we are going to look at that do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying now yesterday the black satellite of ghana the ghana under 20 senior and national team no senior national the ghana under 20 national team won 2-0 over uganda after a one zero over uganda after jerry a free year scored in the uh, other time yes in the last embers of the game 90 plus one minutes he scored um, a fantastic goal for this um, for the ghana under 20 team that ensured that we win the game 1-0 and win gold yes so it, this is the first time an african country has won gold in both the men's football and the women's football this is the first time ghana um doing that for the very first time because the black princesses also beat nigeria 2-1 to win gold in that particular competition and then ghana and at 20 the men's team also winning gold in the men's fixture so yesterday was a very very good day for ghana for, uh, sports in general because the two men's 200 meters final to ghana won in joseph polamoa and then also boxing we got some medals there hockey we beat nigeria again in hockey to win on penalties nigeria we beat them again on penalties but it's fine and then we won other medals also um gold medal so this is the confirmed medal table <laughs> This is what the Nigerians will see, and then they will say that, oh, Ghana, you are not our mate, and blah, blah, blah. Nigeria was second, is that not it? Yes. So, Egypt first on the table, 187 medals in total. They won 99 gold medals, 46 silver medals, and 42 um, bronze medals. Nigeria um, coming second with 47 gold medals, 33 silver medals, and then 41. And um, bronze medals 121 in total, and then South Africa coming 32 gold medals, 32 silver medals, and then 42 and um, bronze medals, 106 medals in total. And then Algeria coming, so Tunisia coming, Ghana, we were sit um, on the log with 19 gold medals, 29 silver medals, and 20 um, bronze medals. You had 68 medals in total, and that is very very good ghana we did very very well and that's the truth the truth is that we really really did very well and i'm sure the home support actually helped the black star and um, ghana during the african games it was well it was a fantastic well organized games and um kudos to everyone who came and won medals in ghana here we cherished and we we we, we say congratulations to all of you yes fantastic now let's come to the senior national team the ghana black stars black stars <laughs> oh god Nigeria have beaten Ghana for the first time since 2006 ESPN Africa since 2006 this is the first time Nigeria has beaten Ghana they will never beat us again too because they are not good in football yes yeah. 
<laughs> but how did all of it happen now in the first half nigeria got a penalty okay they were attacking um black stars so they had a shot from afar and then it hit one of our defenders hands and then it was a penalty and serial deses scored a penalty for Ni nigeria the rangers striker who is for nigeria and then in the second half ademola lukman also came on uh, in fact he scored a second goal for them um around the 86 minute or so yes for them and then the game became 2-0 okay around the 84th minute lukman scored and then in the 90 plus five minutes and um jordan are you scored a penalty for the black stars to give us a 2-1 win okay now these are the lessons for me i'm learning from this particular black stars um loss okay and all of them are positive positive lessons <laughs> one the first thing i saw watching the game was that Coach Otuado's signature was seen on the on the on the players, and the fact is that even though we didn't win the game, we played very well, and that's the truth. We controlled the game. We had proper passing football, and you know that Otuado, when he sent us to the FIFA World Cup, he was using this passing game. Pa, 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 pa. And in our goal, and one of our goals versus South Korea, we played about 33 passes to the goal. We scored Kudus Mohamed's first goal also in the World Cup, and that's the same thing he's doing with the senior national team in his second time and in his first game that is what we saw that a proper passing game pa, pa, let's start building from behind and when they are pressing us so high and we cannot pass from behind then we go long balls to our strikers that is a plan that is the plan we were talking about oh that coach Chris Hilton, he, ha he doesn't have some he doesn't have a plan oh he doesn't have a plan coach Rizute. so we will tell you that as a coach you have to have a plan you have to know that this is your plan that you want to what, use to win games and that's coach otuado's plan proper passing game he, he's passing the ball around he's he's making sure that the um defenders are some of them are joining the attack the laterals you no know, some of them are joining the attack proper passing game proper piercing passes and the point is that if we get our key players, Thomas Pate, Mohamed Kudus, Alexander Jiku, Salisu Mohamed, okay, um, um, Inak Williams, we get Antoine Semenyo in a very good form, um, in the rise of Jordan, are you and the rest? Look, we are going to play and do very well with this type of game. And that's the truth. This midfield we fielded, Baba Idris, Simone, Adiano, they are not the right midfielders we are going to field on any serious day. Do you get a point? So even with them, if we saw the signature of the coach on the field of play, then it is very good for us. It is a positive and it is one of the lessons I've learned from this game. And going into the game versus Uganda, I would also want to see the same pattern and even building on that. Do you get a point? So that we will go and do very well it is important that we have a plan to score and a plan to win games football what with proper football team doesn't have a plan to win game now enough is enough with baba idrisu every day baba idrisu baba idrisu you know, he's not adding anything to our midfield and me one of the things i wasn't so happy with otuado is that he played two proper defensive midfielders as the double pivot i i don't know why he did that yes i it's not like I'm trying to say I know football than him. But he should he should have played maybe one proper defensive midfielder and a proper number eight. In addition, why did he play Baba Idrisu or start Baba Idrisu and Saleh Samed Abdo in the heart of the midfield? That was some way for me. But Baba Idrisu, you, know, yeah, you can give him 100 chances. Right now, he has shown us that he cannot play the blast. It is okay. Enough is enough. He doesn't play anything. Or be jinem non and nam na. Or, or say passes quack no or just say baba you just cannot understand baba idrisu baba idrisu you've been giving chances over chances but yes though we don't see what you bring on board yesterday um this guy edmonado he was playing playing as a center back and he did fairly well he was fairly decent he, he was better than playing in the midfield so if edmonado is trying to do something for himself and uh, otuado baba idrisu what are you doing what are you doing and i'll come back and talk about all the players taking up responsibility okay now new players um showed their worth the likes of forcing amankwa and um, from rb salzburg salzburg has congratulated him for making his ghana black stars debut and um, forcing amankwa as a number 10 he was playing as a number 10 as a creative midfielder um yes he did fairly well also in the game um the likes of jerome opoku um, center back take tall center back he also did very fairly well in the game he got a red card the red card i don't understand I don't know what he did in there. The referee decided to give him the red card in a friendly game. Referee, he just wanted to destroy the game. He just wanted Nigeria to beat us. Um, Jerome Opoku, 
did very very well Ebeza, Ebeneza Anan left back he came on and he did fairly well and the rest all the new players that were introduced you know I think that they did fairly well they didn't really disgrace themselves or they didn't give a bad performance at all they did very very well over there and that is also one lesson I learned Ernest Niyama was about our best player um, on the field of play he has a he's a quality player with enormous potential he should be protected and this Nyama, this particular player he went to the afghan and chris Uti said i will not use him <laughs> chris Uti is not a serious coach i'll mention his name sir said that he will not use him look at yesterday the form the type of game he played for ghana versus nigeria giving psm passes even playing as a force number nine oh, he was used as a force number nine he would draw into the midfield a little bit and then give psm i was here doing the lineup saying that Ernest Nyama should play number 10 somebody said that he's not a number 10 then i am i am i am deceiving the listeners or something he was used as a force number nine and he played very well when you see a quality player a quality player is a quality player he can play several positions if you give him the instructions to those positions gondugan and the rest they've played as force number nine before so if i say next year you play number 10 and you say that this and this yesterday he was used as a force number nine a force number nine he, he but he had a free role sometimes you come to the midfield you go to the way yes and next year, he did excellently well yesterday, giving Antoine Semenyo some fantastic true pass. Me, but Antoine Semenyo went and then he, he, he shot the ball over the net, over the bar. It, it was some way, but an Ernest Nyama should be protected. He should be protected uh, over there. Now, the fifth thing we learned is that hmm, the coach will be tagged to work but the players should set up that is what i'm talking about the players should take up responsibility yes we are tasking the coach to work yes we are tasking the coach to bring up fantastic tactics and everything but the players know if the coach has deployed you very well and fielded you on the field of play it is your responsibility to score the goals it is your responsibility to defend the the, the badge of ghana the badge of ghana if you fail to defend the battle badge of ghana, we are not always going to say Otuado, Otuado, the coach, the coach. Look at the chances, some of the chances we got yesterday versus Nigeria. But these players were squandering them. And Antoine Semenyo and the rest, they were squandering chances. What is this? What is this? How long is this going to continue? How long? We've seen that even at the African Cup of Nations, we were creating chances and we were missing them. If not for Kudus Mohamed, we wouldn't have scored two goals versus Egypt. But we created a lot of chances versus Egypt and we couldn't score them. We will not allow that to continue. The Blasters players should take up responsibilities. When you are on the field of play, it is you and you are defending the image of Ghana. You are defending Ghana. You have to take up responsibilities and stop disgracing the country. Stop disgracing the country by missing clear cut opportunities that you would have scored if you were in your class side. And look at the shame, no. <laughs> and when a shame is there, such chances no, if they get it at their club side, they will score. But they come to Ghana, they can't score. What is the problem? Come and tell us the problem. What is the problem? Yes, let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions. What do you agree with me in terms of my submission or the black stars? And the five things we learned during the game or from the Nigerian game. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section. Like the video, hit the notification bell, and select. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.